Hi guys, my name's Loz and I work in Tackle Development at Nash. Today I'm going to take you through the R3 and receivers and take you through all their settings and functions and how to adjust them. All the different settings for the alarm can be adjusted on the head alone, no need for the receiver. The adjustments are made through two buttons, the power button and the X button. So to begin with, the on off function. This is operated by the power button which is located on the left hand side of the front face of the alarm and to turn the alarm on we simply hold the power button for a couple of seconds and you'll get an increasing tone and a flashing LED that will indicate that the head is on. To turn the head off we simply repeat the process and hold the button until you hear a decreasing tone and no LED flash and that will indicate that the alarm head is off. The mute function is also operated by the power button. To mute the alarm head, we simply press the power button once. You'll hear a beep and there'll be no flashing LED. This will indicate that the alarm head is muted. To reverse that and unmute the alarm head, we simply repeat the process again. We just tap the power button, you'll hear a beep and the alarm will no longer be muted. The volume of the alarm head is adjusted by the X button which is located on the right hand side of the front face of the alarm. To adjust the volume we simply press the button once. You'll scroll through each volume setting and there are four different settings to choose from. One of the main features of the R3 alarms is the intelligent line sensing system. Within this there are three different sensitivity settings and these can be adjusted using the X button. To adjust the sensitivity, we simply hold the X button and you'll be met with a series of tones which reflect the sensitivity. The default factory setting is level three, which is the highest sensitivity. And so if we hold the X button, we'll get two bleeps, which indicates it's on the middle setting, level two. And if we hold the button again, we'll get one beep, which indicates you're on the least sensitive setting. To alter the tone of the R3 head, we use a combination of both buttons. We hold the power button and press the X button to scroll through the five different tone options. One of the added features of the R3 alarms is an embedded LED which is located behind the thread of the optics indicators. This can be used in conjunction with the optics light pipe, so you have a fibre optic pulsing indicator head, or it can be used in a standard hockey stick setup and used to illuminate the swim when you have a beat. To enable or disable the embedded LED, we hold both power and X buttons. If we hold them for a couple of seconds, we'll get two beeps of decreasing pitch. This indicates that the LED is off. And if we hold them again, we're met with two beeps of increasing pitch which indicate the embedded LED is on. The R3 alarms feature an automatic low battery warning. The first indication of low battery is slightly dimmer LEDs. However, the main battery warning feature is when you turn the alarm on, if you're met with five individual beeps straight away, this indicates that the battery needs replacing immediately to retain full functionality. In conjunction with the R3 alarm heads, we also sell a receiver unit. This enables you to have remote alarm feedback on you at all times. To turn the receiver on, we simply press and hold the power button, which is the large button located on the left hand side of the front face of the receiver. By holding the button, you'll be met with a series of increasing beeps and the LEDs will light up from left to right. This will indicate that the receiver is on. To turn the receiver off, we simply repeat the process and hold the power button again and you'll be met with a decreasing tone and the LEDs will light up from right to left. The volume of the R3 receiver can be adjusted by pressing the volume button, which is the large button located on the right hand side of the front face. By pressing the button once, we simply scroll to the next volume level and there are four different volume levels available. The tone of the R3 receiver mimics the head that it's communicating with. To pair the individual R3 alarm heads to the receiver, 
We begin by simply holding the two large buttons on the front, that's the power button and the volume button. By holding these for three seconds, you'll be met with one beep and the first LED on the receiver will be illuminated. This means that the first channel of the receiver is ready to receive the first alarm. To pair them, we simply bleep the alarm a couple of times and that will link to the first channel and will be mimicked by the receiver. But bear in mind you only have 10 seconds once the channel is open to pair that particular alarm head. Once one alarm is paired, simply press the power button and scroll through to the next alarm. The next LED will be open, which means the channel is ready for the head, and by beeping your next alarm, you can sync the second alarm. To repeat the process, you can sync the third and fourth heads. So I'll just demonstrate that now. I hold both the large buttons, one beep and the first channel is illuminated. By beeping that alarm head, I've synced to that channel. I press the power button once and scroll through to the second channel. And by beeping the second alarm head, I've now synced to that channel too. I then press and hold both large buttons and two decreasing pitch tones will indicate that I'm out of sync mode. So now, my alarms are synced to the receiver. If at any time you want to unsync your receiver to any of the heads and start afresh, we simply press and hold the power and the volume buttons, the two large buttons on the front, and keep them held. One beep. And then three beeps. The three beeps indicate that the receiver has been cleared of all heads. When in programming mode with the R3 receiver, you'll notice that the fifth channel cannot be programmed to a head in the same manner as the previous four. That's because this fifth channel can actually be programmed to pair up with up to 32 other R3 alarm heads. To do this, we simply enter programming mode as per normal by holding the power and volume buttons. And you'll see the first LED is lit. By now pressing the volume button, you'll see the fifth LED is lit, which means the fifth channel of the receiver is open to pairing with an R3 head. By bleeping an R3 head, we've now paired that head to the receiver channel. By pressing the volume button once again, we can then pair a second alarm to that receiver channel and so on and so forth. To exit pairing mode with the fifth channel, we simply hold the two large buttons again and two beeps will mean we're in normal receiver mode. The R3 receiver has a recall last event feature, which just in case you missed the last indication on your alarm heads, by pressing the power button once, the corresponding LED on the receiver will light up showing you which head last gave you a bleep. You can tailor your R3 receiver alert functions to suit you personally. There are three different types of alert, sound, LED and vibrate, and there are four different combinations available. So for example, I can press the V button and scroll through the different settings, and I can have vibration off with the LEDs and sound on, or alternatively, I can mute the head and have the sound off and only LEDs and vibrate. One final feature of the R3 receiver is the anti-theft alarm. To enable or disable the alarm, we simply press the A button once, and two increasing bleeps mean that the anti-theft alarm is on, and two decreasing bleeps mean that it's off. When the anti-theft alarm is enabled, and someone tries to turn off your alarm head, you'll be met with the right racket. That's guaranteed to wake you up and alert you to any situation that's going on with your alarm heads. The alarm sounds for 10 seconds, but by pressing the A button once, you can stop the alarm. But do note that once the alarm is triggered, you'll then need to reset the anti-theft alarm afterwards. One additional product that works in tandem with the R3 heads is this, the Optics Light Pipe Indicator Kit. This is a fibre optic indicator cable that works in tandem with the R3 alarm head. It threads into the base of the alarm to where the embedded LED is and that LED pulses through the fibre optic cable and lights up your indicator head in tandem with the alarm. So every time you get a beep, your indicator head pulses also. So that's it, a little insight into the R3 heads and receiver, all their different settings and how to adjust them. Bear in mind that all this information is also in the manual with the alarms. I hope it's been a helpful video.